G'day, Stu here from Yobi Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we jump in, we look at some new, different or just interesting technology in the FPV and drone racing world. Now today, I'm pretty excited because I've got something that I think is going to help a lot of people out here. This is the Magnum Cube from Emacs and pretty much what this is, this is like your all-in-one. It's your ESCs, it's your flight controller, it's your VTX, it's your receiver. It's all packed into this tiny little package and this is going to be perfect for people who don't like soldering. So we've got some top-notch stuff in here. It's all miniaturized and really crammed down, so it's going to be great for some really tight builds, and I think it's going to help, yeah, a lot of people, because not everybody likes soldering. Anyway, let's waste no time, stick it on the bench for this Tech Tuesday, and check out the little Magnum. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, so here it is. Here's the little main unit on the bench, the Magnum F4, and absolutely, this thing is tiny. For everything you get, and the amount of power in here, they've sure packed it in with a lot of components in a really, really nice form factor. Now, that might not be a big deal for a lot of people, but I really like it because it means in the future, when you've got builds, like I've got my little Avant Devil here, there's not really too much space for building in here. Definitely, you know, quads are shrinking more and more. Something like this is gonna make builds like this a lot simpler. Now, not only is it in that tiny form factor, this thing, it's packing everything that you actually need to get flying. All you've got to do is hook up an FPV camera and you are ready to rock and roll. So if you're one of those people out there who doesn't like soldering or any like anything like that, this has minimal soldering joints and uh, you're gonna be having a lot of fun. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be going through each of the boards separately in a minute, but pretty much just to uh, give a quick overview. What we have on the bottom, we've got our four in one ESC, our B-O-L-E-S -E -S ESC on the bottom right there. Right here, this is our uh, flight controller. So that's our F4 flight controller. On the top, we've got two little parts. This part actually comes off, so here's our little XM uh, receiver and then we've also got our 40 channel VTX as well. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna take this apart a little bit so we can look at each of the individual components, but you can see it's a very, when it's all together like this, it's really, really compact down, and it's gonna be fantastic for a lot of people doing their builds. Anyway, let's take it apart and talk a little bit more about the individual components. All right, so here it is, we've taken it apart. It was pretty simple, we just had to undo the four screws on the top, of course, it's in your normal sort of naze flight controller, 35 by 35 square. The whole board fits very, very nicely together. Now the only bit that uh, doesn't come apart when you first get it out of the packet it's this little bit right here this is the VTX that's directly hard soldered in now the beauty of the other bits look if you wanted to you can be able to fit your receiver on here or you could do some little wires and that sort of jazz so it's nice you've got those options but what I do like is the way these join together see these little pins right here simply line them up you don't you no longer need any wires between your ESCs and your flight controller everything's taken care of you can see now we've pushed it together everything's taken care of so it means it's going to be ultra clean when we're building one of these up anyway I'll take it back a part again it slides off just as easily so let's start over here so this is our little xm plus receiver pretty good receivers i use them a ton and the beauty about them they're really really small still a full size range receiver but uh you know they've got a tiny tiny form factor super light as well so we'll put that to the side i'm just going to be running this in s bus then uh what we've got here this is one of the stars of the show this is the four in one esc now this esc this is our well pretty much our esc pdb so you just hook your battery straight up to it right here so you're going to have your two battery leads you do actually get some of those that come with it as well these are the little extras, but uh, just some pigtails and little wires and all that sort of just That part's a little bit boring. But then all you're really going to need to do in half your soldering is going to solder up your wires. So they go to these little pads right here. They're for the individual ESCs that are inside here. Now look, it's a pity it doesn't take 5S. It is limited to 2 to 4S. So that part's a little bit of a shame. But it's got a big amp rating. So 30 to 40 amp, you know, 40 burst rating. You're really going to have to be pushing it to get anywhere near uh, the limits of those. Now, of course, it can run D-Shot, all that sort of jazz. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, it simply connects up right here. So it's going to be very, very clean. Now, what we should do, let's move on, talk a little bit about the flight controller, and then we'll uh, finish up with the VTX. All right, now, the flight controller itself, it's an F4 board. It's sort of based on the Omnibus. You know, it's rocking beta flight, pretty standard stuff. It's got your built-in beta flight, OSD, so really, really cool. And one feature I do like, I like that they've included a buzzer as well. So there's pretty much every bit of, like, electronic kit that most people use on their mini quads, you know, this thing's got it covered. So overall, look, a pretty simple flight controller, but very, very powerful. No crazy good bells or whistles or anything, but I can't really think of anything else you'd really need. So I'm a big fan of that. And then finally on the top, what we've got is our little VTX. So this is a 48 channel VTX. You can see we've got a little button on the side, a nice big display. It's also got that pretty standard stuff, you know, like you can change its power levels, 25 milliwatts or 200 milliwatts, your 48 channels, all that sort of stuff that's expected on today's VTXs.
and uh, one part that I thought was pretty cool depending you've got a little UHFL connector on the back here so whether you want to clip one of these on if you're going to use a bigger antenna or what I tend to do I like they gave you the option you've also got these little whips included as well so this is what I'm going to be using when I build this thing because when you put all this thing together it's going to be super super light and uh, I'm going to use one of these little whips but I do like the option you know you can choose whether you want one with an uh, SMA connector on the end or just a little whip now what we should do let us put it let's put it back together and then I'll weigh the thing and find out how much it's all going to weigh if it's on your build all right so it's coming in at about 22 23 grams which is absolutely crazy when you look at everything you've got in here it's not very much weight at all and it's pretty much all your essentials in your quadcopter minus your camera Alrighty, so there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday. Quick look at the Magnum from Emacs, you know, and I really like everything it's got in here. It's got some super powerful components. I like the receiver, the F4 board, good ESCs, I mean, a Betaflight OSD, good VTX. Everything is packed in here. And I think it is going to help a lot of people because, look, not everyone likes soldering and just being able to put something like this in a build so easily, you know, you can source all your different components. So if you just want something that works together, you can stick it in your build and bang, you know, after a few solder joints, you're ready to rock and roll. I think this is a really good step in the right direction. I'm a big fan and I'm definitely going to be using these in some of my builds in the future. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Hit that bell icon because I'm putting like new videos out almost daily. So uh, make sure you're staying up to date with those. I'll put a link down for this down below and also leave some comments like what else do you want to see on Tech Tuesday? Because look, it's a good space where I can check out some things like this that might not make it into my normal reviews. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.